Welcome to Aero Life. Traveling with art supplies. This video is going to be about trying to uh, pack my art supplies for travel. Uh, I'm going on a vacation and so I have been working on this for about, I don't know, about a week, maybe half a week, somewhere in there. And um, so here's basically what everything I did. And so first of all, I want to see what kind of packer or traveler are you? Are you a minimalist or do you take everything? Uh, my first instinct is I'll take everything, everything from, I mean, the works, right? Now, what you see here is this little pouch, but it didn't start this way. Oh, no. Oh, no, it did not. This looks nice and neat and compact. This is, I'm showing you the final product. This is what it came to be. But... It started with this one. It was just a lot of real estate to put in my carry-on. Because hoping, you know, this would also carry my uh, watercolor journal and other, you know, uh, sketchbooks and all that all in one pack. Well, it fit, but again, it was just a large because I was going to be putting this inside of my backpack. But this was just going to be too big, so I downsized. And I downsize it to this one. I'll give you a reference, as you can see, how how much it's. It's about roughly the same. Maybe this one's thicker. But um, yeah, I eventually went to this one. Again, it's got a nice handle. It's got good zippers. Um, it's got a lot more little areas to put stuff in. Again, it's great. It works great. I've actually used this as well. No, that's what it's all one big pack. But again, I'm going to be on the plane. I don't know who I'm going to be sitting next to. So I was like, this one may not be the best thing. So I saw this on Amazon <laughs> and it's kind of neat. It says, uh, be young. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Be young, be unique. And this is special, you're a one in a million. That's kind of neat. Um, the real estate that it'll hold is, now it's thicker, right? As you can see there. So I went with this one. Now, I had to change how I do things because this one obviously has everything else but my watercolor journal. So I'm going to show you what it was that I put in here and how much I've downsized it. And hopefully it'll help you in making your decisions to do the same thing when you're packing up your stuff. And if you're trying to really get it in as, as you know, much as possible. Now this is really neat because it has a, the extra zipper here, which actually I am able to close it up. Let's see I'll do it for a little bit so hopefully it doesn't burst on me um, I did it one other time um, <laughs> let's, see. let's see if it's working yeah it's working it's it's closing up yeah look at that I got it I mean it's it's <laughs> it's pretty tight in there and it really shrinks it down but it can happen and this thing is strong enough and wide enough and it does hold all this stuff so let's open it up i'm gonna open this up again just let it breathe a little bit before it just bursts open that'd be rather embarrassing so uh well first i'll start with my watercolor journal i just got this and i'm very excited to use it it's the windsor new professional uh, watercolor uh, cold press and what i like about this one though is see right there 100 percent cotton so okay this guy here it has this pocket here where i've put in uh just some cut up uh this is just regular um uh, 140 pound uh, papers but it's just for you know if i want to try out different colors or, or kind of test uh some things on there uh before i put it on my uh, 100 percent cotton paper so here we go so we're going to open this up and again it's got a good zipper so it opens up it has this little mesh zipper here little uh, pouch you can put a bunch of good stuff in there and again it's a good zipper and then it has this thing here 
it's attached it doesn't come off but it has um was that five little slots uh like and they're good thick slots too you can put you know various pens and their markers or um colored pencils uh, brushes whatever you want uh, these are just pens that i have on here and it's got the little mesh pouch there and then it's got the main um cavity here the the main little area where you can put all the, the bigger items so this is what and then you just close it up and you've got that so this is what i'm taking on my trip uh, but yeah so here is everything that i've got in the pouch so i've got this um it's just a michael's card it's a gift card that i cut up uh, to make, you know, to wrap some washi tape and so it's got hearts on it, but you know, I saw a video where somebody had this idea, f um, and it, I don't know, it looked pretty good. So I'm going to figure I'd give it a shot. I haven't tried it like this before, so we'll see when I start to peel that off and see where that goes. So uh, I have my eraser here. This is a, uh, Pentel, uh, click eraser, uh, ZE22. And it's a good eraser. You just kind of go like this and, you know, just for light, you know, I believe it is a, I don't know if it's a, the plastic kind or the rubber, um, but I've used it, um, I've used it a good while and, you know, it's been, it's always worked out pretty well. And I have a mini mister uh, for the watercolors. This is by Ranger. Um, but I will fill this up uh, once I get past uh, security and all that. Uh, I know it, this is small enough to where it would go, but I'm just trying to um, just have everything just, you know, dry and then I'll fill it up later. Just avoid any, I mean, who knows what could happen, right? Um, and then I've got some travel brushes here. This is the, uh, the Princeton uh, Aqua Elite number four. And... Um, yeah, these are really great. They've got the little hole right there for when you put the brush in. And if it's still wet, it'll still air out. And again, you just take this out. And there's your brush right there. So this one, number four, I haven't used this yet. I've used the other two, the six and the eight. Um, but I figure I'm going to take a four just because, you know, you never know if you need it. So yeah, once you're done, then you just put it right in there. And you've got it. And same thing with these. Uh, these are um, uh, silver, black velvet, and uh, a, a six and an eight. And again, same thing. You just pull this out, and then you've got and it's um, got a nice uh, silver, black velvet. It's a really nice brush. Uh, they've got a lot of um, their quality is really good. So I really like their stuff, and I just love the how they have their travel brushes they're so sleek they're elegant and um they're just i mean there it is right there it's just beautiful so and you just have to make sure be careful not to bend any of the any of the um the hairs on on the brush there so there's a six i have an eight and then uh i decided to bring this one this is a da vinci um Cassano um it's a number 10 but it's a flat brush um this thing is huge look at this compared to i mean here's an eight i guess right here is an eight um but you know this is how they make their brushes though but yeah i wanted a flat brush because you know a lot of times i want you know just that good wash and then um but again it's a number 10 so i guess it would be i don't know if this is my only uh da vinci um travel brush so i don't know if the other ones the you know the other um, sizes are this thick or not or maybe they're thinner i don't know so if they, it holds its shape and it's just it's great all around there and then just pull that and there we go all right so that's what we have in there and then for the pens i am taking my pentel milky pop um, this is a pretty good, you know, it's a, it, it's a good solid white. Um, I have these and I have the jelly roll pens, but this one seems to work better. I don't know if maybe just the, the ink on it is stronger, but this is the one that seems to work better. And then here is the, 
um, yeah, Pentel, and this is the Sketch Buddy, I believe. And it's a um, it's a brush pen. Um, yeah, I'll put it right here. And, and it comes out like this, but you can really get some good. There we go. I mean, there we go. See how it just kind of comes out like that. And you can get some good. I mean, it's an actual. It's a little brush in there, so. And um, but yeah, it's pretty good ink and all that. So, um, I got this the other day, and so I've been kind of messing with it, and so. And again, I'll have all these listed below in the um, descriptions, so that way uh, I can have them there. If you're looking for anything like this, you can find it there. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to to ask me about it. I can tell you, you know, where I got it or or what um what i think about it some of these i've used yet some of these I, i've been ordering and they just came in and i'm going to use them for the first time on this uh trip so i don't know we'll see how it goes so this is um just another uh it's just a brush pen that i picked up it's a black ink and again i'll see this is another one that's kind of like it's not as dark but it's still some pretty good, I mean, it lays down some good, some good ink there. Um, and this is, this is a water-based, um, it's a ink or dye. Uh, so I put this, it doesn't say it on here. It's, it says it on the packaging. I like this, but again, it's, it's water-based. So I, I put H2O based on this. So I remember that this one is not uh water resistant but the sketch buddy i believe is so but yeah i brought that just because you know it, it's kind of fun to play with and again i just got it so i kind of wanted to take it with me and this is just my favorite pen in the entire world right here this is a um a parker uh jotter ballpoint pen and you just see you just hear that i love that click so this is something that I just love these pens. They're the, they're the best. Um, this one is, uh, they used to be made in the United Kingdom. I believe they were made in France now, uh, these pens. And they come in uh, all stainless steel or this part will be uh, this, you know, the stainless steel color and you'll have different colors. Like actually I have one here that, again, it's got that nice click there. And they're very simple pens. They're just beautiful, elegant design. But you can get different colors on the barrel here and their um, ballpoint so if it's something you're interested in, i'll put that in there too if you're interested but you know this is just i just love these pens and that's just i have, I have that for pretty much everything um and they're just they're, it's very stylish and then this is my lamy uh safari pen it is a uh, fountain pen this is a medium yeah there we go it's a medium nib and this is the what, green apple i think um but um this is a great pen the ink that i have in here is the platinum carbon ink this one right here and this ink is amazing i love it it's everything i want in ink platinum carbon ink uh, it's made in Japan, um, but really great ink, again, if you're interested. And I'll put that in the um, description. So we have the pens, and then we have the rest of the stuff. This is something that um, somebody had come up with that, you know, it's just a, you know, sports thing. But, you know, you put it right here in your painting. You can use it as um, as a cloth to wipe your ink. And as you can see, I've done that already. I did wash this, but it hasn't come out. But that's okay, because I can still keep using it. I'm just going to use all the way around. Um, so it is something that I, I, I'm going to take it on this trip, and, and hopefully it'll it'll continue to work as well. So I have two uh, water cups here. I put some, um, some loose paper towels in there just to store. But, you know, I plan to have these so I can put water in these for my watercolors and put that in there so this here is a um sakura 
uh, Koi watercolor. Um, it's a pocket box, but I have taken all those out and replaced it with Daniel Smith. Um, I believe it's the uh, ultimate mixing palette, um, the 15 colors. Well, this one I was able to put more than 15 colors, so I, I did the 15 for that, and then I went and put in uh, you know additional colors that I wanted on there. So, so yeah, this is great. You open it up, it has you know five uh, mixing wells here, and I went and put in my own colors. I just really like the box. This box is I love it. It's a hardback all the way around, very smooth, sleek, and I love it. And so I went and got another one just for the box. I was able to add some, so you have space here. And um, so I was able to add three brushes actually in here. So I've got like the whole set right here. We got three brushes. Uh, these are the uh, Princeton Neptune. This is an eight. And this is a six right here. So I was able to put those in there. And then this is just a, you know, just a, a cheap brush that I got and, you know, with those variety packs that I sawed it off and melted it down just to make a little nub there to make it fit. Um, again, for that flat uh, brush there. It's a good brush and, and it's real thin and smaller. So I still keep it in here, not only because it fits, but also because I may just want to use this one instead of taking that one apart and, you know, depending on how big of a painting I'm doing. But it fits really well. You've got... These two here, there's the eight and the six, uh, the Neptunes, and then I've got that in there. And then I put this little guy right there when I'm done. And it closes up nicely. It doesn't stretch or anything. It just, it's a, just a perfect fit for everything in there. I love this box. Um, and I can't wait to uh, use it on the plane with this travel. So I have that and I found some of these at um, I decided, uh, you know, to take these and that way I can, you know, in case I need to clean up, these will be pretty good with that. So I keep that in the bottom. And then I have also the portable painter. Now, this is one that I've decided to have for like kind of a secondary. Um, so this is all what I'm going to be doing on the plane and in the hotel because it's more of a, you know, even though it's nice and compact, we're actually going to be staying in, I think, two or three hotels during the trip. So um, so I'll have these to, to use there. Um, and then I'll show you this one or what I'm planning to use for that one. So that's pretty much what I have for this one. There's no other pocket or anything. I have this one. Oh, let me stick that in there. And then... I've decided to bring these two right here. Uh, when we're, you know, in the car, driving around, going to parks, going to, we're going to the zoo for sure. So I wanted something a little more like a mobile unit. Like here is the <clears throat> the main unit, you know, at the hotel and the plane and all that. But then when I'm out and about, you know, doing stuff, uh, I wanted to have something where I can kind of keep, you know, keep it more com even more compact than this, right? More compact but still be able to get some sketching done. <laughs> so for that, I, I'll start with the sketchbook. This is the uh, Creative Mark uh, Reflections. I got this at Jerry's Autorama. Uh, they also have this, I believe, on uh, Amazon as well. Uh, I got mine at Jerry's, but I'll put the link on um, Amazon as well. So that way it's just or pulling out of my pocket and just open it up and just start, start sketching away. So um i'm very excited and this one also has a pocket here yeah here we go it's got a little pocket in there too where you can put you know a piece of paper or whatever you find so again this one's brand new so i haven't used it yet but this is all just gonna you know i'm kind of using it for the first time you know so there's that and i love the color um so there's the sketchbook and then here is the I found this little guy for sketch pens. So this opens up and you've got two little, I mean, it doesn't look like much. So uh, I've got brush pens here. I'm gonna fill these reservoirs uh, so I can use these brush pens. I have my pencil right here. It's a mechanical pencil. Uh, this is by uh, Pentel as well. It's a uh, 0.7 pencil lead there. I have a Micron 
uh, number eight, my, uh, Pigma Micron Archival Ink. So this is a good one for uh, for sketching, and it's a little thicker that with that point eight there. I have a, a regular ballpoint pen. This is a Bic. You know, these are really good for sketching too. If you're you know just kind of out and about it and just wanted to just doodle something down. And then this is the Caveco, um, this little guy right here. This is a Caveco Sport. Uh, it's a uh, German uh, brand pen, uh, and it's a, it's a fountain pen. So you unscrew it, and you've got this little guy, and he goes right here, and it's a good, I mean, it doesn't look like much when it's, when it's like this, right? But you put it up, and then you, you post it here, and you've got a really good pen and this is a, a medium Let's see if you can see that yeah it's a medium right there the the nib it's a nice gold nib um, but it's a really good pen it's light I have the little ink converter in here so when this runs out I'll have the cartridge but I don't know if it's gonna run out any anytime you know during the trip so but I like to be prepared so but yeah, so I've got this one, and again, that platinum carbon ink is waterproof, so I can use this for a sketch, and then, you know, I can wait for it to dry, and then go in there and uh, start with my watercolors, it might be. This is the Pilot Kakuno, right there. And this is one of those people who, it's like their first fountain pen, they're trying to get used to it, and how to maintain it, because, you know, fountain pens, it's not just, you just like a bake you just once you're done you toss it there's a lot of uh not a lot of maintenance but there is some maintenance because you know the ink that you put in there you don't want to dry you have to clean the nibs from time to time and i have the uh converter this one uh this one in particular i'm using the uh, con 40 converter and uh, it's got the little piston right here uh this one it does not have uh the Platinum Carbon, this one I have filled with the Noodler's uh, Black, uh, the Bulletproof ink. This pen itself, it's really great, it works great, and I'm very excited to be taking this as well. Uh, this one ha I have used uh, a little while, so uh, I can definitely attest to that it works great. And then I put two just folded up pieces of um, uh, paper towels here, again, just for any mess or anything that, that I generate. I can't get messy and then you zip it up and that's it this is gonna be my on-the-go uh, sketching now for colors after I make my sketch if I want if I have time and if I have you know the the, uh, the space to do some watercolors I have my um, portable painter micro right here now as I as you saw here I have my um, my brush pens I have a flat right here and a round and I fill these reservoirs up and this these go these go pretty far these reservoirs here um, and so I can use these with I won't I don't need little uh, little containers to put water in I don't need any other water as long as I fill this up I can use this and again this is uh, again this is really great you know you take this out you've got right here and then you put this in right here and then you lift this up and you've got your watercolors so and again you can put water here if you want or if you just want to use it as a mixing well you've got these little things here so it's your choice and they give they let they give the the decision to you to make which i think is great again here's two more wells here and two more wells here and you can see they kind of go inward, so they're not going to splash out at you or anything like that. And um, yeah, these colors, uh, this is just what, you know, I wanted to uh, just to have. And, and, you know, this is sort of a, what the, the limited palette, uh, as they call it. And um, so I have the Windsor Lemon, uh, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna. Then I have Cadmium Free Red. Actually, no, this is cadmium red. I couldn't find cadmium uh, free red at the time, so I, I, I had cadmium red, so there's that one. French ultramarine and Windsor blue. Uh, this is Windsor blue green shade. And these are all Windsor and Newton professional uh, watercolors. Uh, just my limited palette. 
these are some great colors and so but yeah and this little this little thing is great a little uh, pack that they made here so yeah and then once you're done there so you've got the little notch there so you just line that up with this notch and then you put it in there and then so this can fit in your pocket i mean right this can fit in your pocket this can fit in the other pocket <laughs> Um, and then this can maybe fit in your pocket or back pocket or, or something. But um, so this is what I'm going to use for on the go, kind of my mobile unit right here. I have these right here and then my main unit right here where I'm going to be doing like either on the plane or at the hotel. So I hope this has uh, helped you. Uh, this is come up with for my travel i wanted to make this video i hope it has helped you if you have any questions just, uh, leave a comment uh if you like this video please click like please subscribe um, i want to put out more of uh, these videos not supplies uh, that i can uh, help all of you with but also with um you know putting more of my painting videos in there so thank you again so much i hope you enjoyed this and until next time bye bye